Hello students! Nice to see you again everyone! And now please welcome back to our Brown English class! Alright for today students? Yes, I am your English teacher and my name is Teacher Huan. Alright, from now everyone, we are going to find out together with the wonderful story of our big friend Elephant. Oh, can you remember the story of him? Yes. Great work, everyone. All right, we're going to find out more. But this time, before we move to our program, we are going to sing and dance first. All right, let's stand up, student. Let's sing and dance together with our first song that we call Hello, Hello Song. Don't forget to stand up like this, everyone. Together, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch your feet? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Brow English cards. Alright, let's focus on our screen, everyone. 
here. Look. Oh, look at them. My friend is too big. Yes, for today, we are going to have fun together with the wonderful story of the big elephant right there. Read the story of... My friend is too big. Yes, here is for the title of our story for today. My friend is too big. All right, we're gonna find out with them. But before we move to part of story box, everyone. Now, teacher have some questions to ask all of you again. Let's answer some of questions first. All right, this past we move to part of daily routine and let's begin with the first question that teacher want to know so this question is everyone how are you so how are you today and how do you feel all right students for today are you sad students are you sad no all right if you are not sad good job let's find out with the next one what about sleepy? Still then, are you sleepy now? No again. No again. Oh, great work. If you are not sleepy too. All right, this part. What about excited? Are you excited? Yes. Yes, excellent. All right, if you say yes, let's say with me everyone. So you will say, I am excited. Now your turn. I am excited. Excellent. All right, let's find out more. So this part, did you have one more question to ask you again? This question is, listen. How's the weather? All right, this one is for asking for the weather still then. Listen to our question one more time. How's the weather? And this time, let's say with me. How's the weather? Your turn. How's the weather? Good job. All right. Can you answer these questions? How's the weather today? We're going to check up with all the choices that we have over there. All right. But now, everyone, let's look at the outside. Oh, look at the window. Then please tell me, how's the weather? Now let's check up with other choices we have. It's the first snowy. one, snowy. Oh, look, is it snowy still then? Is it snowy now? No, teacher. Oh, no, now it's not snowy. Good job. All right, let's find out more. If it's not snowy, what about this one? Look. It's rainy. Oh, this weather is for rainy, rainy. Still then, is it rainy outside? No, again. Oh, not again. Now it's not rainy too. Good or you. All right, this part, let's check out more. If it's not rainy, everyone, what about this? Look. Look at her hand. It's windy. Oh, all right, this part, still then. Let's focus on the tree. Is this windy now? Windy. Is this windy? Yes. Yes, great work. Now it's windy, like this part. All right, now let's practice with our same hands. So listen first. It's windy. And say with me, it's windy. Your turn. It's windy. Good job, everyone. But we are going to practice more. When we say it's windy, still then, we have to move our hand like this for windy and windy. All right, let's practice. Now listen. It's windy. All right, let's say an act. Follow me. It's windy. Now your turn. It's windy. Oh, well done, everyone. Yes, today is windy. All right, now we have answers with some of questions with part of our daily routine already. Let's get back to our screen. That today, teacher told you, we are going to find out with our story of my big friend. Sorry, my friend is too big. All right, for the first part for today. Yes, we are going to watch the story. Do you want to watch our story? Yes. Yeah, let's put it together, everyone. Now, let's move to part of story box. So, don't forget to pay attention with this story. Story box. Yes, let's find out with that. My friend 
is too big. They are playing slide. Yes, now they are playing the slide and the playground together. Oh, they look fun. Maybe it's their holiday. All right, now let's check out. Hey, friends. Let's play together. Oh, yes, this part. Who is this here? Elephant. Yes, the elephant. Now the elephant is coming. Then he greetings to his friend. Oh, hey, friends. Now let's play together, everyone. All right, do you want to play with them? Yes. Yes, let's ride out the slide. Here, look at the elephant. I like slide. I'm riding. Oh, wow, this elephant, he said that he likes this slide, everyone. So, who likes the slide like the elephant? Show me your hands. Oh, great work. Yes, now the elephant, he said, I'm riding. Oh, let's check out. It looks fun. Oh, no. Wow, wow. Oh, what wrong, everyone? The slide is break down. Oh, no. After that, the monkey said, You are too heavy. Oh, you are too heavy, elephant? Yes, finally, their slide is break down so it's mean look we can't ride a slide let's play soccer yes like the cat say now they cannot play the slide everyone because it's break down already after that now this hot monkeys he's asking to his friend oh everyone now let's play soccer Wow, do you want to play soccer with them? Yes. Oh, great work. And this part still then. Look at this elephant. He said something to his friend. Listen. I'm sorry. Let's play together. Oh, yes. He said sorry to his friend and everyone. All right, now let's play the soccer together. <laughs> I like soccer. I'm kicking the ball. So this part, this elephant, he said, I like soccer. Do you like soccer like the elephant? Yes. Oh, great work. Now, student, he's going to kick the ball. I kick the ball. Look. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. You are too strong. Oh, elephant, you are too strong, said monkey. Yes, now the ball is break down. Oh no! We can't play soccer. Let's play baseball. Oh, now look at them, everyone. They a bit sad because now they cannot play the soccer. After that, this part, yes, this monkey, he asking his friend, everyone, he said, oh, everyone, let's play baseball. Do you want to play baseball with them? Yes. Yes, all right, but this part, let's check up with our elephant again. This time he says, I'm sorry, let's play together. Yes, he says sorry to his friend again. Now let's play together. Oh, I like baseball. I'm hitting the ball. Yes, yeah, so this part, they are playing the baseball together. Yes, this monkey, he is the pitcher. He throwing the ball. Now the elephant, he said, oh, I like baseball. Now I'm hitting the ball. Let's find out with our elephant. No, no, no. no, no. What wrong with Bear's house, everyone? Now the elephant, he had his tinder ball punched down to this window. Oh, the mirror is break down. Look at his bear. You are too strong. Oh, elephant, you are too strong. We can't play baseball. Let's play basketball. Yes, now they cannot play baseball. I'm sorry. Let's play together. And a bear. He said sorry to his friend again. Now let's play basketball together. I like basketball. 
ball. I'm jumping and throwing the ball. So now see where I look at them. Now they are moving to the basketball court. Here, the elephant, he said, oh, everyone, I like basketball. Now I'm jumping and throwing the ball. Look at him. Oh, oh no. You are too heavy. Yes, he's too heavy. It's break down again. We can't play basketball. Let's play in the pool. Oh, so now, yes, this part. Look at this elephant one. He's a bit sad. And then this time, the rabbit said, we cannot play basketball. basketball. Then, She's asking to his friend, everyone, oh, everyone, let's play in the pool. Now, still then, look. I'm sorry, let's play together. Yes, so this part of the elephant, he has sorry to his friend again and again. Now, let's play together, but this time, look at his friends. No, you can't play in the pool, you are too heavy. Too big and too strong. Oh, now his friend against to him, everyone. Oh, no, elephant, you are, you cannot play in the pool with us because you are too heavy, you are too big, and you are too strong. Oh, you cannot play in the pool with us. Now, oh, he looks so sad. They're moving to the pool, everyone. Water is too little. But water is we too can't little. play in the pool. They cannot swim. Let's play together. I can help. Oh, this part. This elephant, he says to his friend, let's play together, everyone. I can help you. After that, how do rabbit, she says. How? Oh, how? Elephant, how can you help us? I'm jumping in the pool. We can play together. Oh, he's going to jump in the pool. We are going to practice with how to read our storybook together. But everyone, for today, did you have something special to show all of you? Alright, ta-da! Everyone, for today, did you have this wonderful, wonderful pen that we call a wonder pen? Alright, for today, teacher gonna show you with how to use our wonder pen with our wonderful storybook. Alright, for the first step, Bring this one beside you and then we are going to open out a pen by holding this small bottom over there. Brown education. Kids brown wings. Yes, now did you have opened out a wonder pen already? Oh, then it's functional, everyone. We can use out a pen. So, how to use out a pen? Just tap this part of out a pen, everyone, to the sentences or the picture from our storybook. Like this part, let's check out with our story. Here, we have this elephant. Oh, look, what is he doing? See then. He's playing the slide and then the elephant said, I like slide. Yes, he said, I like slide. And then, I'm riding. I'm riding. Oh, very nice. When you tap this pen to our sentences, 
try to listen. After that, repeat out your wonder pen, everyone. Like that, teacher gonna show you. I like slide. I like slide. Like that. And then? I'm writing. I'm writing. Try to listen and repeat out the audio wonder pen. All right, everyone, you can just listen to half to audio sentences from audio storybook. If you want to practice more with audio words or vocabularies, you can do it too. Just have audio pen with pictures, everyone. Let's check out. Look at the small one. He is the monkey. Monkey! Oh yes, this is the monkey. Let's check out more. The big one. He is the... Elephant. Yes, it's for elephant. Just have, listen, and say. Alright, that's all for today. With audio wonder pen. From now... Bye-bye. See you again. Oh, bye-bye wonder pen. See you again. Alright, now this time, everyone, we are going to practice with how to read out the storybook with all the program that we have. Don't forget to bring your storybook beside you. Alright, this time, we move to part of reading. Reading. Yes. So, let's begin with the title of our story, everyone. Listen. My friend is too big. Now, read, follow me. My friend is too big. Your turn. My friend is too big. Well done. Let's begin with part of page one of this story. <laughs> Here, look, we have page one over there. Let some of his friends playing at the slide together at the playground. This part of the elephant, he says. Hey, friends. Read, follow me. Hey, friends. Your turn. Hey, friends. After that, he says. Let's play together. Let's play together. Now, your turn. Let's play together. Oh, very nice. Yes, he greeting to his friend. Hey, friend. Let's play together. Let's find out more with part of P2. This is we move to our P2, everyone. Yes, now they have fun together with the slide. So this part, the elephant says. So say with me, I like slide. Your turn. I like slide. I'm riding. Your turn. I'm riding. Oh, he like this slide, and then he said. I'm riding. Now, what will happen next? We're gonna check up with this elephant. Look, oh, we have some crack crack. All right, this part still then. The slug is break down. Yes, now the monkey says. You are too heavy. Read, follow me. You are too heavy. Your turn. You are too heavy. Yes, he said to this elephant one. Oh, elephant, you are too heavy. Now, our slide is break down. We're gonna find out more, everyone. All right, let's move to part of page three. Ta-da, here. They, el sorry, that slide is break down. This part, the cat says, we can't ride a slide. Read, follow me. We can't ride a slide. Your turn. We can't ride a slide. After that, let's play soccer. Let's play soccer. Your turn. Let's play soccer. Yes, now they cannot play this slide anymore because it's break down. So he asking to his friend, everyone, let's play soccer. But this time, look at this elephant. Yes, he said to his friend, an elephant says, I'm sorry. Read, follow me. I'm sorry. Your turn. I'm sorry. Let's play together. Let's play together. Now your turn. Let's play together. Oh, I'm sorry, friends. Let's play together. All right, let's find out more with part of paid for everyone. They are going to play the soccer together. Yes, here we go with this one. Oh, look at this elephant. He says, I like soccer. Read, follow me. I like soccer. Your turn. I like soccer. And the next one. I'm kicking the ball. Now, I'm kicking the ball. Your turn. I'm kicking the ball. Yes, now he's kicking the ball. What happened with this ball, everyone? Let's check out. His friend said, Oh, no. Say with me. Oh, no. Your turn. Oh, no. Said Robert. This part. 
that still there. Look at the ball. Now this time the monkey says, You are too strong. Great, follow me. You are too strong. Your turn. You are too strong. Yes, he said to the elephant. Oh, you are too strong, elephant. Now our ball is break down. So they cannot play the soccer anymore. Let's find out with the next part. All right, now let's move to page five, everyone. Here we move to page five. So this part, his friend says, We can't play soccer. Read, follow me. We can't play soccer. Your turn. We can't play soccer. And after that, Let's play baseball. Let's play baseball. Your turn. Let's play baseball. Well done. Oh, now everyone, we cannot play soccer. Let's play baseball. All right, they're going to play baseball. But this part, yes, the elephant is here and he says, I'm sorry. Read, follow me. I'm sorry. Now your turn. I'm sorry. After that, let's play together. Let's play together. Your turn. Let's play together. Good job. Oh, I'm sorry, friends. Let's play together. We're going to find out more with part of page six. Yes, move the book to page six, everyone. Now they are going to play the baseball together. And this part, our elephant, he says, I like baseball. Read, follow me. I like baseball. Your turn. I like baseball. And elephant says, I'm hitting the ball. Now, I'm hitting the ball. Your turn. I'm hitting the ball. Yes, now everyone, the elephant, he's hitting the ball. But his friend says, Oh no. Say with me. Oh no. Your turn. Oh no. Oh, said rabbit. Yes, let's check up yes. together. Oh no, what wrong? Now still then, the ball is punched down to this part of the window. Oh, here is the bear's house. Yes, this part, the cat says, You are too strong. Read, follow me. You are too strong. Your turn. You are too strong. Well done. Yes, the cat one, he said to the elephant. Oh, elephant, you are too strong. Now, let's find out more. So, we move to page 7, everyone here, part of page 7. This part, the monkey says, We can't play baseball. Read, follow me. We can't play baseball. Your turn. We can't play baseball. After that, he asks him to his friend. Let's play basketball. Say with me. Let's play basketball. Your turn. Let's play basketball. Yes, now they cannot play baseball anymore. Yes, now they are going to play the baseball together. But this part, yes, look at this elephant one. He feels so sad again. And now he says to his friend. I'm sorry. Read, follow me. I'm sorry. Your turn. I'm sorry. Let's play together. Let's play together. Your turn. Let's play together. Oh, I'm sorry, friends. Now let's play together. Let's find out with them, everyone. All right. We move to page eight is here. Now they're moving to the basketball court over there. So the elephant says, I like basketball. Read, follow me. I like basketball. Your turn. I like basketball. And after that, he says, I'm jumping and throwing the ball. Read, follow me. I'm jumping and throwing the ball. Your turn. I'm jumping and throwing the ball. Yes, now he tried to jumping and throwing the ball. The raccoon says, Oh no. Read, follow me. Oh no. Your turn. Oh no. What will happen next? Let's check it out. Oh no. Now it's break down everyone. All right. And this part, the monkey says, You are too heavy. Read, follow me. You are too heavy. Now your turn. You are too heavy. Oh no. Elephant, you are too heavy. Yes. The basketball court is break down again. Let's find out with the next part. So now we move to page nine. Still then, yes, this part the cat says. You are too heavy, too big, and too strong. Read, follow me. You are too heavy, too big, and too strong. 
on your turn. You are too heavy, too big, and too strong. Yes, and this time the elephant he said sorry to his friend. I'm sorry. Say with me, I'm sorry. Your turn. I'm sorry. After that, let's play together. Let's play together. Your turn. Let's play together. All right. So this part, like a monkey said, now we can't play basketball. Read, follow me. We can't play basketball. Your turn. We can't play basketball. And then the rabbit is asking to his friends, "Let's play in the pool." Read, follow me. Let's play in the pool. Your turn. Let's play in the pool. All right, now everyone, we cannot play the basketball anymore. Let's play in the pool together. All right, and this time, this elephant he says sorry to his friend, and let's play together. But now everyone, what's wrong with his his friends? Now his friends against to him. Oh, now this time the monkey says, "No, you can't play in the pool." Read, follow me. No, you can't play in the pool. Your turn. No, you can't play in the pool. Oh, why not? Because this part the raccoon says, "You are too heavy." Too big and too strong. All right, read. Follow me again. You are too heavy. Your turn. You are too heavy. Too big. Too big. And too strong. And too strong. Oh, great work, everyone! Now he's friend against him because he is too big, too heavy, and too strong. So elephant, you cannot play in the pool with us. All right, we're gonna check up with part of page. Ten. Here we go. Now they are moved to the pool, everyone. But look at the pool. This part, the raccoon says, "Water is too little." Read, follow me. Water is too little. Your turn. Water is too little. So it's m a c d o w n We can't play in the pool. Read, follow me. We can't play in the pool. Your turn. We can't play in the pool. Yes. Now they cannot play in the pool, everyone, because the Water is too little. They cannot swim. All right, now still then, out of elephant, he has some idea, and he says, "Let's play together." Read, follow me. Let's play together. Your turn. Let's play together. After that, he says, "I can help." I can help. Your turn. I can help. Oh, after that, the rabbit she's arguing to this elephant. How? How? Your turn. How? Oh, how elephant? How do you help us? Let's check up on page eleven here. So this time the elephant says, "I'm jumping in the pool." Read, follow me. I'm jumping in the pool. Your turn. I'm jumping in the pool. After that, we can play together. We can play together. Your turn. We can play together. Yes, now the elephant one. He's jumping in the pool. Now the water is spreading out, and then they can play together. Everyone, now they can swim. All right, let's check up more. So now we move to the last page of our storybook, and look at them. Oh, finally they can swim. They have fun together. This time, his friend says, "That's a good idea." Read, follow me. That's a good idea. Your turn. That's a good idea. And now, now we can swim. Now we can swim. Your turn. Now we can swim. Great work. So this part, Ada Rabbit, she says, "Thanks, elephant." Read, follow me. Thanks, elephant. Your turn. Thanks, elephant. Oh, thanks a lot, elephant. Now they can play in the pool together. Oh wow, it looks fun. All right, still then. Yes, now we have read the whole story of my big friend elephant already. Excellent. You are good readers, everyone. So. If you have your wonder pen in your house, yes, you can practice with how to read the whole story by yourself. Just use our wonder pen and then listen and try to repeat after our wonder pen, everyone. From now, yes, end up with part of reading for today. Let's move to the next part, everyone. And this time, yes, we are going to practice with our exercise. All right, now 
Let's find out your workbook or your worksheet beside you. This part workbook. We are going to practice with other exercise on our workbook, everyone. So we are going to begin with our exercise on pattern. Yes, it looks the same with our screen here. So everyone, don't forget to find out your pen. Or maybe you can use some pencil or colors or crayons. It's according to you. Now, let's start with part of page 10. This exercise is for you are too heavy. So, this part of our exercise, everyone, we are going to try and read out the sentences, for three of them. Let's begin with the first one. Yes, we have the elephant. So, this sentence is for you are too heavy. This part, let's write out the word of heavy. Let's do it together, student. Yes, heavy. Begin with letter H. Now, yes, followed by letter E. e. Well done. And the next letter is for letter A. A. Great work. Coming up next with letter V. V. And the last letter for heavy is for letter Y. y. Very nice. Our full stop is here. Yes, now we have the complete sentence for the first pictures already. Read, follow me, everyone. You are too heavy. Your turn. You are too heavy. Yes, very nice. All right. Let's find out more with the second pictures that we have. We still with this elephant, everyone. Now this part of the sentence is for you are too and then strong. Yes, this time we are going to complete this one. Let's trace out the word. So strong, begin with letter S. S. Yes, followed by letter T. T. Coming up next with letter R. R. Next is for later O. Oh. Very nice. And the next letter is for later N. N. Great work. The last one is for later D. D. Oh, good job. Here we got the right words already. Our complete sentence is for Rick, follow me. You are too strong. Your turn. You are too strong. Get great work, everyone. Like this part that he kicking the ball. Oh, you are too strong, elephant. Now, we move to other large pictures with part of page 10, everyone. Now, all of them are in the pool. This part of the sentence is for you are too big. All right, let's complete this word. So big, begin with later. B. B. Yes, coming up next with later. I. I. And the last one is for later. D. D. Well done. First stop is here. We have our complete sentence already. So read, follow me. You are too big. Your turn. You are too big. Oh, great work, everyone. You are too big, elephant. Yes, now we have turns and read out the sentences from part of page 10 already. Let's find out more with the next exercise on page 11. So this part, this exercise on page 11, we call comparing animals. Yes, we are going to compare out the two animals that we have for each part. The first pictures, we are going to compare about the cheetah and the panda. Another one, we are going to compare about the giraffe and the rabbit. And the last one, we are going to compare with part of the, rat, the cat and the elephant. All right, let's check out, student. Here, let's begin with the first picture. We have the cheetah and the panda. All right, they are running. We're gonna check out with other sentences that we have, student. Let's begin with the blue one. Here is for the elephant is bigger than the cat. Oh, student, here the blue one is for the elephant is bigger than the cat. Let's find out the right picture from three of them. Which one is for the elephant is bigger than the cat? Is it this one, elephant and the cat? No. Oh, no, another one. Is this elephant here? No, again. No, again. What about this one? Elephant and the cat, is it? Yes. Is this bigger and the, than the cat? 
Yes. Yes. Great work, student. Let's connect the line. This part, the elephant is bigger than the cat to this picture. Yes, here is the right one. So say with me with other sentence. So the elephant is bigger than the cat. Your turn. The elephant is bigger than the cat. Well done. All right, now we are going to find out more with the pink one here. This sentence is for the cheetah is faster than the panda. Oh, let's check out which one is the right picture. The cheetah is faster than the panda. The first picture or the second picture. The first picture. Yes, the first picture is here. Here is for the cheetah. It's faster than the panda. Great work. Let's connect everyone. Drawing the line down to dot like this again. And then read follow me everyone. This sentence is for the cheetah is faster than the panda. Your turn. The cheetah is faster than the panda. Very nice. All right, now we move to our last one. We see our green sentence. This one is for the giraffe is taller than the rabbit. Here, student, which one is the right picture? Is the it giraffe? Yes. Yes, the second picture, love, like you say. All right, let's connect the line. Dot to dot like this. Here we have the giraffe is taller than the rabbit one. So, read, follow me with our sentence. The giraffe is taller than the rabbit. Your turn. The giraffe is taller than the rabbit. Very nice, dear then. Yes, this part we have final with our exercise on page 10 and 11 already. Have you finished? Yes. Great work. All right, let's find out more, everyone. So, this time, student book. we move to our student book. Yes. Let's bring your student book beside you. Here is for our student book, everyone. And then this time, you have to open your student book on page 10 and 11. This activity is for... Let's play oh, the... Sorry. Student book. How tall are you? Yes, this part of our activity is Cut the is ruler for... and measure the height of animals. How tall are you, everyone? This part, we are going to measure how tall of other animals that we have. So, five of them, we are going to measure the height by using our rulers. Here, student, from part of your student book, our rulers is over there. Then you, cut, you can find out with this part that we have some scissors right here. You have to cut it out. Yes. You can ask your parents, everyone, ask your parents to help you for cutting out the outer ruler. After that, we are going to use outer rulers, measure the height of each animal that we have from our textbook. All right, let's begin with this one here is for the... What is it? Look, look at the picture. Guess what? What is it? Monkey. Yes, it's the monkey. Very nice. Let's find out together, everyone. How tall are you, monkey? Now, student, when we can use our ruler by tap this ruler that we had cut it out from part of the feet of the monkey. Like this one here from the feet and then from his head. Now we have to count from our boxes we have. Let's count together. Now, monkey tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven. Yes, it's for seven blocks. Now this part, you have to use seven. seven. After that, you have to write down Great work. number seven here. Monkey is seven on blocks. Our yes, for this one. Say with me. Monkey is seven blocks. Monkey is seven blocks. Your turn. Monkey is seven blocks. Very nice. The monkey is tall seven blocks. Well done. Let's find out more with the next animal. Who is this here? Cat. Yes, he is the cat. How tall are you, cat? So let's use our rulers to make sure the height of the cat again. Still then. Tap outer ruler from part of the 
feet of this cat. After that, come together, everyone. The cat tall. One, One two, two, three, and four. Four. Very nice. Four. Let's choose four. Four. Great work. Good work. Cat is four blocks. Yes. Now, cat is four, four blocks. You have to write down number four in the blank. And read, follow me. Cat is four blocks. Cat is four blocks. Your turn. Cat is four blocks. Well done. Let's find out which other neck animals that we have here. Guess what? Who is it? Raccoon. Yes, he is the raccoon. Oh, how tall are you, raccoon? Now let's count together, everyone. Yes, you have to use the rulers. Make sure for part of the feet of the raccoon. Then count out the blocks together. Now the raccoon tall. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six. Oh, six blocks. Let's choose six. six. Super. Yes, super, everyone. Raccoon is six blocks. Don't forget to trace the right number in the box. First, number six, and then say with me. Raccoon is six blocks. Raccoon is six blocks. Your turn. Raccoon is six blocks. Yes, he is tall for six blocks. Very nice, this part. We are going to find out with the white one. And this white one, still then, she is the... Rabbit. Rabbit. Very nice. How tall are you, rabbit? Let's count our the rulers. Let's count the blocks. Now the rabbit tall. One, One two, two, three, four, four and five. five. Very nice. Let's choose five. Five. Fill in the blank again. Fantastic. Yes, fantastic. Rabbit is five blocks. Now read, follow me, everyone. Rabbit is five blocks. Rabbit is five blocks. Your turn. Rabbit is five blocks. Yes, she is tall for five blocks. Well done. All right, we are going to find out with the last one. Here, who is it? Elephant. Yes, he is the elephant. Oh, how tall are you, elephant? Let me choose his height, everyone. Now, let's count the blocks from outer rulers. Now, the elephant tore. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight and nine. nine. Very nice. Tall for nine, nine blocks. Let's write down number nine. Super. Super everyone. Elephant is nine blocks. Yes, elephant is nine blocks. Now let's read out the sentence. Elephant is nine blocks. Say with me. Elephant is nine blocks. Your turn. Elephant is nine blocks. Oh, great work, everyone. Yes, now we have find out about the heights of all the friends from each animal since we have five of them already. Excellent. But student, how tall are you? All right. You can check up your heights by main shoes. All right. This part and don't be out of activities for today. So now let's move in to the next part, everyone. So can you remember our song that we call Kick, Hit and Throw? Yes. Yes, let's practice with our song. Alright, stand up everyone. Let's sing and dance together with our song Kick, Hit and Throw. Soccer, soccer. I like soccer. Throw, throw, 
throw the ball. Ready, go! Excellent, everyone! Yes, don't forget to practice with how to sing and dance from other songs. Kick, hit, and throw for today. You are the best. Yes, but now all oh, is gonna be Tom's song. So we have to say goodbye. Alright, let's sing and dance with our love song. With my song.